For the past year, all we have heard is Russia, Russia, Russia from the mainstream media and the liberal politicians as they continue to push the false Russia collusion narrative on the American people. It is obvious to anyone with half a brain that the left just cannot wrap their heads around the fact that the American people overwhelmingly voted for Donald Trump over the anointed Hillary Clinton in the 2016 election. As special counsel Robert Mueller attempts to prove that Trump and his campaign team are guilty of fictional crimes, new court documents discovered show that Mueller has legal problems of his own that should end his witch hunt immediately. It appears to everyone in the country that the Russian investigation is waning after new information points to the Obama administration and Hillary Clinton as the guilty parties. Between the FISA memo that has sent shockwaves through the beltway and the thousands of text messages that magically disappeared that show an anti-Trump bias, the Mueller investigation seems needless to say tainted from the very beginning. Now, more evidence has emerged that shows just how dirty Mueller is after new court documents reveal that when Mueller was the FBI director, he helped cover up connections between the 9-11 terror attacks and a Saudi family. Judicial Watch obtained court documents that show Mueller was likely involved in releasing misleading FBI statements to hide a direct connection between the 9-11 hijackers and a Saudi family that happened to live in Florida at the time of the attack. These deceptive statements that Mueller made were crafted to discredit a 2011 story that exposed an FBI investigation into this Saudi family that lived Sarasota, Florida. According to Judicial Watch, this controversial investigation was withheld from Congress, and now this information is coming to light after all these years, and it is about time. The FBI agents at the time stated that they did not find any connection between the Saudi family living it up in sunny Florida and the 9-11 hijackers, but those statements contradicted three other reports that showed the opposite. The other reports discovered by Judicial Watch indicate that FBI agents, in fact, found several connections between the Saudi family and the 9-11 hijackers. Here is more from Judicial Watch, underscore court documents recently filed by the government for the raw, the credibility of Russia special counsel Robert Mueller because they show that as FBI director Mueller he worked to cover up the connection between a Florida Saudi family and the 9-11 terrorist attacks. The documents reveal that Mueller was likely involved in publicly releasing deceptive official agency statements about the secret investigation of the Saudis, who lived in Sarasota, with ties to the hijackers. A Florida journalism non-profit uncovered the existence of the secret FBI investigation that was also kept from Congress. Underscore, underscore under Mueller's leadership, the FBI tried to discredit the story publicly countering that agents found no connection between the Sarasota Saudi family and the 2001 terrorist plot. The reality is that the FBI's own files contain several reports that said the opposite, according to the FT. Lauderdale-based newsgroup's ongoing investigation. Files obtained by reporters in the course of their lengthy probe reveal that federal agents found many connections between the family and individuals associated with the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001. The FBI was forced to release the one secret reports because the news group sued in federal court when the information wasn't provided under the Freedom of Information Act, FOIA. Underscore, underscore the disingenuous statements were issued by FBI officials in Miami and Tampa in a desperate effort to disparage a 2011 story exposing the agency's covert investigation of the Sarasota Saudis as well as reporting that it had been concealed from Congress. Mueller is referenced in a document index that was ordered by a federal judge to be created in late November 2017. The South Florida judge, William J. Slock, a Ronald Reagan appointee, asked the FBI to explain where it is had discovered dozens of pages of documents in the public records case filed six years ago. The index reference to then-FBI Director Mueller appears in an item involving an agency white paper written a week after the publication of a news story about the abrupt departure of Saudis Abdulaziz and the now Dal Hijji from their Sarasota area home about two weeks before 9-11. The couple left behind their cars, clothes, furniture, jewelry and other personal items. It was created to brief the FBI director concerning the FBI's investigation of 4,224 Escondido Circle, 
the L hashes address, the index says. Underscore, underscore though the recently filed court documents reveal Mueller received a briefing about the Sarasota Saudi investigation, the FBI continued to deny it existed publicly and it appears that the lies were approved by Mueller. Not surprisingly, he didn't respond to questions about this discovery emailed to his office by the news organization that uncovered it. Though the mainstream media has neglected to report this relevant development, it's difficult to ignore that it chips away at Mueller's credibility as special counsel to investigate if Russia influenced the 2016 presidential election. Underscore. If that was not bad enough for the questionable Mueller, then it appears that he was the one the who signed off and approved the lies and if that is the case he needs to be removed from his position quickly. Mueller is in no way suited to be in charge of any investigations considering his shady past and his dubious connections to those that seek to harm the country. We already are witnessing Mueller's anti-Trump bias with the team he put together to investigate the make-believe crime that never existed. The entire premise of this Russian investigation is to cast doubt on the Trump presidency as a way to punish all those who dared to go against Hillary Clinton and the establishment. With this new information showing that Mueller has already swayed one investigation in our country, he has no right to oversee another, and it is about time that it ends, and he is the one facing interrogation. Follow us on Facebook at Freedom Daily.